In this Abacus video tutorial, I'll show you how you can switch between two different POS menus. For my example, I have two menus. I have my burger menu, which is currently selected, and also a cafe menu. To switch to the cafe menu, just select it. Here you can see that the menu has changed. To go back to the burger menu, just tap the spoon and fork icon and select the burger menu. Now I'll show you the different ways you can customize an order. For example, I select the double egg burger. You can see here that this burger has some variants that can be applied. There are variants for bread options, and also if I want to make this item a combo. For my example, I'll select wholemeal from the bread options and make it a large combo. You'll see that once I select large combo, I have two other options that appear. The first is an option for me to select a large drink, I'll select Fanta 600ml, and the second option is for me to select a large side. Here I'll select a large corn, and then tap the X icon. On the left side of the screen, you can see that my order is displayed. I have a double egg burger on a whole meal bun, and a large combo with a Fanta and a large corn. Now I'll select a side to go along with the order. I'll select the sweet potatoes with the sour cream dip. If I wanted to add another dip to sweet potatoes, I'll just select that item on the left and it will bring up the variant options again. Now I'll select avocado as well. You can see that avocado has been added and it's charged another dollar for the variant. If I want to remove the sour cream variant from the sweet potatoes, just tap the X icon and it will disappear. If I want to increase the quantity of an item added to an order, just select the number to the left of the item and then select the quantity. Here I'll enter 5 and press done. Here you can see that I've ordered 5 portions of sweet potatoes with the avocado dip. Before I pay for this order, I'll just change the bun that comes with the double egg burger. To do this, I'll tap double egg burger and then switch to the gluten free bun. Now I'll tap pay, and then pay off this order. Lastly, I'll show you how to add an open item to your menu. Just tap the spoon and fork icon at the top of the screen, and then press the cog icon to the left of your menu name. Now select an empty tab, and then enter the product name. For the product name, I'll enter open food. Now that I've added the product name, I can continue filling out the product details. The product code will be automatically filled out for me, so I don't have to enter anything here. The price I'll also leave blank, as the price will be manually assigned to this item every time it's added to an order. This item will have GST, so I'll enable taxable. I want this item to print to the kitchen, so I'll select Kitchen from the printer location list. Now that I've filled out the printer location, I'll scroll down to the bottom of the product details section. Now I just want to make this item an open item so that I can manually assign the name and the price of the order on the fly whenever I choose. Now that I've finished filling out the details for this item, I'll tap Update and then tap Save Menu. You can see here that I now have an open food item. When it's selected, I'll be prompted to enter in the name of the item and also the price. I'll show an example here. Here I've entered pizza as the name of the product and I'll assign the price to $20 and then tap done. You can see here that I've created a product on the fly called pizza and assigned a price of $20 to it. Now I can create another item on the fly by tapping open food again. This time I'll enter spaghetti as the item name. Now I'll assign a price of $25 and then tap done. This is how you can create an open food item and manually assign the name and price of the item on the fly whenever you like.